Greetings to all in the name of our Lord. Today let us look into summary of Exodus chapter 2. Exodus chapter 2 marks a pivotal moment in the biblical narrative as it introduces Moses, the central figure in the story of the Israelites' liberation from Egypt. The chapter opens with the continued oppression of the Israelites under Pharaoh's decree to cast Hebrew male infants into the Nile River. Amidst this dark backdrop, a Levite woman gives birth to a son and, fearing for his life, hides him for three months. Unable to conceal him any longer, she places him in a basket among the reeds along the river bank. Miraculously, Pharaoh's daughter discovers the infant while bathing in the river and takes pity on him. Recognizing him as a Hebrew child, she decides to raise him as her own son. Coincidentally, Moses' own mother is hired to nurse him, allowing her to care for her own child while he grows up in the palace of the very ruler who seeks to destroy Hebrew male infants. As Moses grows older, he witnesses an Egyptian taskmaster beating a Hebrew slave and intervenes, killing the taskmaster in the process. Fearing punishment, Moses flees from Egypt and settles in the land of Midian. There, he encounters the daughters of Jethro, a priest of Midian, at a well. When the shepherds harass the women, Moses comes to their aid and helps them water their flock. Grateful for his assistance, Jethro invites Moses into his home and eventually gives him his daughter Zipporah in marriage. Moses becomes a shepherd and tends to Jethro's flock, living a humble life far removed from the grandeur of Pharaoh's palace. Meanwhile, the Israelites continue to suffer under the yoke of oppression in Egypt, their cries for deliverance echoing in the heavens. God hears the cries of his people and remembers his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He sees the suffering of the Israelites and resolves to intervene on their behalf. One day, while Moses is tending sheep near Mount Horeb, he encounters a remarkable sight, a bush burning with fire yet not consumed by the flames. As Moses draws near to investigate, God speaks to him from the burning bush, calling him by name. God reveals himself as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and commissions Moses to return to Egypt and lead the Israelites out of slavery. Despite Moses' initial reluctance and feelings of inadequacy, God assures him of his presence and promises to be with him every step of the way. With God's reassurance, Moses accepts the divine call and agrees to confront Pharaoh, setting in motion the events that will culminate in the Exodus, the liberation of the Israelites from bondage and their journey to the promised land. Exodus chapter 2 lays the foundation for the epic saga of redemption and deliverance that will unfold in the chapters to come. It introduces Moses as the chosen instrument of God's deliverance and highlights themes of divine calling, courage, and obedience. Moses' upbringing in Pharaoh's palace, his flight from Egypt, and his encounter with God at the burning bush all contribute to his preparation for the monumental task ahead leading his people out of slavery and into freedom. Thank you.